Tanan Jay and in this video I'm going to explain you require function and include function so in the previous video we have created different functions but uh, we need to have a, a separate file and uh, we need to include those functions in different different uh, uh, scripts which we create in the project so in order to do that we need to create a new file so in that case I'll just create a new file and name it as uh, let's say func func.php okay and this resides into my same folder which I have in the uh, function.php let's say right now so this was the previous function uh, previous video I have created of all the functions so I will, I will use the same uh, function set and I'll just cut the functions and I'll just paste over here so in that case in, in, in your case you can create your own um, set of functions or classes or anything you want or a set of configurations which you want to include into your main file so this will be very handy and very useful for, uh, type of uh, include and uh, require uh, statements for the for entire project which you do so right now just save this function uh, save this particular file and here I'm going to just write require and in the double quotes I will mention the file name so I have the func.php file and if I just save and refresh the page I should get the same result perfect now let's say I have to use the include function so what exactly the difference between those two functions there is no such huge difference you will get the same results as it is but for an instance if I misspell this particular thing and I refresh it it will just create a warning okay so it, it actually returns me the warning but uh, my script which is having the function which is having this array add or something like that this is actually returning me the fatal error so uh, check this out very carefully um, now here I'm just replacing this particular thing with require okay and save and refresh sorry I'm just refreshing the wrong file function.php now here if you can see it actually gives me the fatal error at the initial stage itself it doesn't uh, continue the script and uh, you know entirely stops the script from uh, processing further so this is uh, good for some situations this is uh, even include statement is even good for some situations but that actually debatable because the project requirements should be uh, specific and this particular thing is always going to be uh, variable you know but these are the two types which you can use to include separate files or separate set of functions in your PHP project and this will make your entire PHP project very organized or uh, very structured so this that's it for this video and if you like this video please like and share and if you have any comments or if you're having having any doubts in this two uh, functions which I have taught so please comment down and I'll get back to you on that and please press the bell icon I will uh, keep posting new videos on PHP 7 and uh, other other technical uh, topics and uh, thank you for your support and bye bye